Hey there, savvy Singaporeans. It's Iggy here from the Investing Iguana channel, your go-to guide for smart financial choices in the Lion City. Today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial yet often overlooked critical illness coverage in Singapore. In this video, I'm going to unravel the complexities of insurance coverage and reveal what your policy absolutely must include to safeguard you against the unexpected. Whether you're a young professional, a family person, or nearing retirement, understanding this could be a game changer for your financial health. So, grab a copy and let's get into it. You'll be walking away with insider knowledge on how to protect yourself and your loved ones against critical illnesses in the most efficient way possible. Imagine this, you're going about your life in Singapore, enjoying local delights at hawker centers, and suddenly, life throws a curveball, a critical illness diagnosis. Scary, isn't it? But let's face it, in Singapore, the risk is real. The Singapore Cancer Registry reports that two in five Singaporeans might face cancer in their lifetime. If you're caught unprepared, you're not just battling the illness, but also grappling with financial worries. That's where health insurance steps in, like a trusty umbrella on a rainy day. It's not just about covering medical bills, it's about giving you breathing space to focus on recovery without the stress of daily expenses. Critical illness coverage is that extra layer of protection, providing a lump sum payout for non-medical costs, think travel to the hospital, or even making your home more comfortable for recovery. Let's dive deeper into why critical illness protection is vital, especially in our Singapore context. 1. Illness is covered. When you're shopping for a health insurance plan, it's important to remember that not all plans are created equal. This means that different plans offer different types and levels of coverage. For instance, let's consider the coverage for illnesses. Some plans might only cover a small number of specific illnesses, while others might offer a more comprehensive coverage that includes a broad range of illnesses. To ensure you're getting the best possible coverage, you should look for a plan that covers a wide variety of illnesses. This is crucial because you never know what kind of health issues you might face in the future. To help you in this process, you can refer to the list of major critical illnesses provided by the Life Insurance Association Singapore. This list includes illnesses that are commonly covered by insurance plans in Singapore. Additionally, you can also check the Ministry of Health's data on the principal causes of death. This data can give you an idea of the most common health risks in your area, which can guide you in choosing a plan that covers these specific risks. The more comprehensive your plan is in terms of illness coverage, the better it will be for you. This is because a comprehensive plan can provide you with the financial support you need in case you get diagnosed with any major illness. Let's illustrate this with an anecdote. Imagine two people, Alice and Bob. Alice chose a health insurance plan that only covers a few specific illnesses, while Bob chose a plan that covers a broad range of illnesses. One day, both of them got diagnosed with a rare disease that is not very common. In this case, Bob's insurance plan would likely cover the treatment costs because his plan is more comprehensive, while Alice might have to pay for the treatment out of her own pocket because her plan does not cover this particular disease. This example highlights the importance of choosing a comprehensive health insurance plan. 2. Stage of illness. The stage of illness refers to how far the illness has progressed. This can be categorized into three main stages, early, intermediate, and late. In the early stage, the illness is just beginning to develop and symptoms might not be very noticeable. The intermediate stage is when the illness has progressed further and symptoms become more apparent. The late stage is when the illness is at its most severe and symptoms are usually quite serious. When choosing a health insurance plan, it's crucial to know what stages of illness your plan covers. Some plans might only cover late-stage illnesses, which means they will only provide coverage if your illness has progressed to a severe level. However, you wouldn't want to be caught off guard if your illness is detected at an early stage and your plan only covers late-stage illnesses. Early detection is key in managing many illnesses, and having coverage at this stage can be very beneficial. Let's consider an anecdote to illustrate this. Let's say we have two individuals, John and Jane. John has a health insurance plan that covers all stages of illness, while Jane's plan only covers late-stage illnesses. 
Both of them were diagnosed with the same illness, but John's was detected at an early stage while Jane's was detected at a late stage. In this scenario, John's insurance plan would cover his treatment costs right from the early stage, allowing him to manage his illness effectively from the get-go. On the other hand, Jane would have to bear the costs of her treatment until her illness progresses to a late stage, which could potentially lead to higher overall health costs and poorer health outcomes. Therefore, it's important to ensure that your health insurance plan covers all stages of illness early, intermediate, and late. This way, no matter when your illness is detected, you can be assured that your treatment costs will be covered. 3. Affordability Affordability is a key factor when choosing a health insurance plan. It's about finding the right balance between the level of coverage and the cost of the plan. Sure, having a plan with comprehensive coverage is ideal because it can provide you with financial protection against a wide range of health issues. However, it's also important to consider whether the cost of such a plan fits within your budget. You wouldn't want to end up in a situation where the cost of your health insurance puts you in debt. Health insurance is meant to provide financial security, not financial stress. Therefore, the cost of the plan should be something that you can comfortably afford. Sometimes, a less expensive plan might be a smarter choice for the moment, especially if you're on a tight budget. While it might not offer as comprehensive coverage as a more expensive plan, it can still provide some level of financial protection. Let's consider an anecdote to illustrate this. Let's say we have two individuals, Tom and Jerry. Tom chooses a health insurance plan with comprehensive coverage, but it's quite expensive. He struggles to keep up with the premiums and ends up in debt. On the other hand, Jerry chooses a less expensive plan that fits his budget. While his plan doesn't cover as many health issues as Tom's, he is able to consistently pay his premiums without any financial stress. In this scenario, even though Tom's plan has more comprehensive coverage, Jerry might be in a better position financially because he chose a plan that he can afford. This highlights the importance of considering affordability when choosing a health insurance plan. 4. Premium payment period. The premium payment period refers to the length of time you are required to pay premiums for your health insurance plan. This is a long-term commitment, and it's important to think carefully about how long you can realistically commit to making these payments. Remember, longer payment terms mean a longer financial commitment. If you choose a plan with a long premium payment period, you'll be committing to making payments for a longer period of time. This could be for several years or even decades. It's crucial to choose wisely based on your financial stability. You need to consider your current financial situation as well as your projected financial situation in the future. Can you afford to make these payments consistently over the long term? Let's illustrate this with an anecdote. Consider two friends, Sam and Lisa. Sam chooses a health insurance plan with a short premium payment period because he wants to pay off his premiums quickly. However, this means that his monthly premiums are quite high and he struggles to make these payments. On the other hand, Lisa chooses a plan with a longer premium payment period. Her monthly premiums are lower and she is able to make her payments comfortably every month. In this case, Lisa made a smarter choice because she considered her financial stability and chose a plan that she can afford in the long term. In conclusion, when choosing a premium payment period, it's important to think long term and consider your financial stability. This will help ensure that you choose a plan that you can afford and that you can commit to for the necessary period of time. 5. Sure, let's break this down. Coverage in the context of health insurance refers to the range of medical conditions and health-related services that your policy will pay for. While life expectancy in Singapore might be high, it's important to consider not just the length of life, but also the quality of life. This means considering factors like physical health, mental health, and overall well-being. For instance, you might live a long life, but if you're constantly battling health issues, your quality of life might not be as high. This is where having a good health insurance plan comes in. It can help cover the costs of medical care and treatments, which can significantly improve your quality of life. When choosing a health insurance plan, ensure that your policy offers sufficient coverage for a wide range of medical conditions and health services.
This includes both minor and major health issues, as well as preventive care and wellness services. Additionally, look for a plan that offers flexibility for extending the duration of coverage. This is especially important as you age and your health needs change. Keep in mind the average healthy life expectancy, which is the average number of years that a person is expected to live in good health. Your health insurance coverage should ideally last at least until this age, if not longer. Let's illustrate this with an anecdote. Consider two individuals, Mary and Sue. Mary has a health insurance plan with limited coverage and no flexibility for extending the duration. Sue, on the other hand, has a plan with comprehensive coverage and the option to extend the duration. As they age, Sue is able to adjust her coverage to meet her changing health needs, while Mary struggles with increasing health costs that her insurance doesn't cover. In this scenario, Sue likely enjoys a higher quality of life thanks to her more flexible and comprehensive health insurance plan. In conclusion, when choosing a health insurance plan, it's important to consider both the quantity and quality of life. A good plan should offer sufficient coverage and flexibility to meet your health needs throughout your lifetime. And, while considering these factors, don't forget the payout amount. It should be enough to cover your living expenses, treatment costs, and additional needs like caregiving. The Life Insurance Association Singapore suggests a payout of at least 3.9 times the average annual income in Singapore. Remember, planning for critical illness isn't about giving in to fear. It's about being pragmatic, preparing for the worst while hoping for the best. Choose a plan that aligns with your needs and budget. And remember, you can always start with something affordable and upgrade as your financial situation improves. In the end, it's all about balance. Balancing risk with affordability. Balancing protection with peace of mind. So, take the time to choose the right critical illness plan for you, because in Singapore, being prepared is always the best strategy. Alright, folks. That wraps up our deep dive into the must-haves of critical illness coverage in Singapore. I hope you found this guide illuminating and it helps you make informed decisions about your health insurance needs. Remember, being prepared isn't just about peace of mind, it's about taking control of your financial future, especially when life throws unexpected challenges your way. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button, it really supports the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to Investing Iguana for more insightful content on navigating Singapore's financial landscape. Your support means we can keep bringing you valuable content like this. So, stay savvy, stay secure, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep investing smartly and take care of your health, both physical and financial.